You made a, a fascinating comment a moment ago about uh, how if Putin were replaced, his successor would likely be more hawkish. And that makes me wonder about what's ahead for Russia, assuming, as we all hope uh, and want, that Russia fails in Ukraine, that its invasion proves to be a mistake, um, leaving aside now the question of whether Putin stays or goes, what happens to a Russia that's defeated here? Do we have a period of disarray, fragmentation, and how dangerous might that be for the United States and for our allies in Europe? Well, first of all, I think, I think that um, uh, Russia, if Russia is able to um, fight to a, to a stalemate, in Eastern Ukraine, where they don't lose all of Eastern Ukraine, and they certainly don't lose Crimea, uh, Putin and company can can spin that as sort of a sort of a victory. But I think I think whether or not the Russians are defeated, Russia at this point has been significantly weakened for a long time to come. The hundreds of thousands of young men who have fled the country, many of them. Uh, in tech, many of them entrepreneurial, not wanting to fight and be killed in Ukraine. Um, that's, a, that's a loss of a huge resource for Russia. The withdrawal of Western companies, you know, these companies that have invested in Russia, had Russian employees and so on, and have pulled back and, and just pulled out of Russia. They're not going back anytime soon, uh, and particularly as long as Putin is in the chair. Uh, so, so you know, they they have uh, improved or significantly expanded their economic relationship with China during the course of this. Uh, they've expanded their economic relationships with uh, the Central Asians and so on. But the Western investment, the modernization of the of the Russian economy and so on, the direction that they had been headed some years ago, has has been arrested. And I think it'll be a long time before. Uh, before Russia can recover from this, and I think, I think particularly as long as their forces are on Ukrainian soil, there will be a lot of pressure in the West uh, not to lift the sanctions. And the, while the sanctions have not had the dramatic short-term impact that I think a lot of people hope, their long-term impact on Russia, I think, is significant. So, uh, bottom line, I think, I think this war, I think Putin has significantly weakened Russia probably for a generation to come.